Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Ali and welcome back to Coding Cafe. So now in this video tutorial we are going to allow a user to like post of his friend or anyone from his school, college, university or anywhere. We will store this record inside the Firebase database. So let's go to the Android Studio and first of all let's come here above. We will need a reference, a database reference. So let's create a reference. So the new one will be for the likes node which we will, which we will create now. So we can call it as like likes ref. So here we can say likes ref equals to firebase database dot get reference oh sorry dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the new child I mean the parents this will be basically a parent node just like we create the post node and the user node so under this likes node we will add the record of I mean how much uh, how much uh, li I'm how much post a user likes like le let's say my name is Muhammad Ali so inside that node there will be a unique ID of me and under that unique ID there will be the number of uh, post uh, I mean the likes record basically once I complete this then I will show to you guys the database also the Firebase database also so first let me complete it so then we will check it that how this whole thing will work so come down here and inside our display all user posts method here we have this populate view holder and inside it we can set a click lesson on our like button which is uh, this one when a user click on this like button then what will happen so we can say view holder dot like post button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this method uh, we need basically a uh, like uh, I mean a uh, variable which will check the like that is if a user already like a post or not so for that uh, let's create a boolean type variable and we will call it as like checker and we will initialize as it with false so now come down and here inside we can say now as that is when a user click on the like post button and we are going to tell it that is like checker equals to true so that will be true and that will be true basically when the user click on that so then we will display the we will turn the gray color heart to red color and the red color basically means that the post is already liked by a user I mean by a specific user let's say I am an online user so when I click on this like button then it will turns red now we will uh, do the code for that first I just explain the meaning of this so that's why I mean with the help of this boolean type variable we will uh, play with that like checker I mean which will check the like basically you will understand it when I run the app at the end of this video so after that we can say likes ref dot add value event listener now we are going to add the record of that like that is by whom this post is liked okay so a user can uh, like a single post one time I mean uh, he can uh, like many posts as he want but I mean let's say I have updated a post then another user let's say his name is Mohammed uh, Golshar so he will uh, like my post one time I mean uh, the counting will be uh, add I mean one count will be add for that let me complete this and you will understand it when I run the app okay new value event listener and first make sure to put a semicolon here and inside this own data snapshot first of all let's uh, say first we are going to check that is if the child exists or not so for that we can say that data snapshot dot child and the child is the post key dot has child which is the current user id 
let me complete this and uh, I will explain it once I complete this and I hope you will understand it without my explanation because this is very easy okay don't worry about it I will explain everything and then the else statement so first of all let me tell you that this if will check that is if the like already exist then what we are going to do so we can say like ref dot child post key dot has child sorry for that has dot child single child okay not has child dot child and the child for that because we we will remove the like if the like already exists if a post is already uh, liked by a user then if he click again on the heart button or you can say the like button then it will unlike the post if it is already liked so for that we can say life ref dot child post key dot child current user id this is basically the way that is how we are storing the data as I told you, once I run the app at the end of this video, you will understand everything when I show to you guys the database that is how the record is saving. And I will explain everything, so don't worry about that. So we are going to remove the value. And if like do not exist, then we will set the value for that. I mean, we will add the like record then inside the database so i will copy that code from there and paste it here and instead of this remove value i set value to true so this will basically add a like record or you can say uh, the record of i mean that is a post is like now so inside this if statement we can say like checker equals to false that is if a post is already liked by a user then if he click again on the like post button then we will simply uh, unlike that post and we will uh, set the li like checker to false and the same we will do here in the else statement so the next thing is uh, to play with the buttons that is the red heart and the gray color heart which is the red will mean that is the post is light and the gray will means that the post is unlike so for that come down to the static class post view holder and inside it so first of all we will be needing a in type variable to count the i mean to count the number of likes so we can call it as count likes and a string type variable where uh, in which we will store the current user id so we can call it as current user id and a database reference and we can call it as likes ref so here inside this populate view holder we can say likes ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child the child will be the likes node and let's uh, get the current user id so you can say current user id equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user dot get uid and now we are going to create a method here so first let call it here so then you can understand it more easily here inside our populate view holder we can say view holder dot let's call this method as set like like button status so inside this method we will basically uh, check the status of the button and then we will turn is turn this uh, like button as red and gray which i explained earlier so we can say status set like button status and let's pass one parameter to it which is the post key and now let's copy this 
and now we can create this method down here after this post view yes inside this post view uh, static class post view holder we can say now public public void set like button status and we know that it will receive one parameter and let's make it final and that will be the string data type and this is the post key so we can receive it as post key and inside this method now here we can say likes ref dot add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and inside this own data chain we can say if data snapshot dot child post key dot has child current user id and then we can count so we can say count likes equals to we can store it as a integer type so we can say int data snapshot i mean we are going to display the number of likes in integer since you know that it will be in one two three four five and like that so data snapshot dot child post key dot get children count so what this line of code will do this will basically count the number of likes on a given post on a single post so this will count it and it will store it inside this count like variable which is integer type okay so then we say like post button dot set image resource or dot drivable dot like which is the red heart and we are going to display the number of likes so we can say display number of likes dot set text then we can say integer integer dot to string count likes and if the post is i mean if the user unlike the post then we will uh, we have to update the number of likes and we have to turn this red icon to the gray one to the gray color for that let's copy this three line of code and we will change it for the unlike so we need to update the number of likes so it will be the same let's change this like to dislike which is this icon and then we have to uh, show the updated number of likes on that post so come here above and first of all we need to add a validation here in our method uh, inside this populate view holder when we here which is this one if data snapshot for the likes and for the I mean if the like if a user already liked and if the user do not liked already first of all cut this if else both statement control X and first we need to add here this validation if like checker dot equals to true so make sure to add this validation first and then we can pass that code here that's it and before we run our app let me show you the database we have these two node post and users and now let's run our app to see that what will happen now so our app is running now and let's see what happens so i will show you guys the database and let's click on this like post button 
So you can see that the likes node is created successfully. If I expand it, if I open this node, then we have this unique post key, which is the post key. And under this post key, we have the unique user ID. So it means that this post get one like. And you can see that it says one. Let's go to the Android Studio and come down here and cut this integer dot to string control X and we can add two further braces and then we can add some text to this so we can say likes okay and let's paste that also down here below yeah that's it one brace is extra okay so this is it will now uh, tell us I mean instead of just displaying the numbers we uh, there will be written that is likes okay and let's add some space to it so now let's run our app again and our app is running now and you can see that it's a one like and now let's like another post and you can see that the record is added successfully now let's like some of these posts and then I will uh, log in from another account let me log in from another account so that we can check that either it is working for all the users or not so I will enter email then password and let's log in so I am logged in now by this account which is Muhammad Awas account and you can see that it display one like if I click here then you can see that it displayed two likes now and you can see that this is the ID of that specific post and now there are two likes one and two now let's click on another post and you can see that now two likes if I expand it you can see that liked by two users so in this way this whole a like system will work you can see that okay so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will be working on the comment functionality so the like functionality is working really fine I mean this is incredible this is awesome so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will be working on the comment and also after that we will work on the friends and the messages so thank you guys for watching and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter and facebook so take care and see you guys in the next video bye for now